distance time graph. The change in position of an object with time is represented by distance time graph. Let us see how distance time graph in uniform motion. In uniform motion, the object travels equal distances in equal intervals of time. Since it travels equal distances in equal intervals of time, when we draw a distance time graph, x axis being time and y axis being distance, it will be a straight line. It means the object is traveling with uniform speed. Now how do we calculate the speed from this graph? Let us see a distance time graph for an object traveling with uniform speed time t distance s. Since it is traveling in uniform speed, it is a straight line. So the object is at a position A. It started from O. So when we draw a perpendicular from A to the x-axis, which is time, touches the point axis at B. And when you draw a perpendicular to y-axis, it touches at C. Now we know that speed is distance traveled by time taken. In this case, the distance traveled for an object from O to A is AB and the time taken is OB. AB by OB is nothing but a slope of the graph line OA. Hence, we can conclude that slope of distance time graph is speed of an object. When we see the distance time graph in non-uniform motion, it is different from the uniform motion. Let's see in non-uniform motion, an object travels unequal distances in equal intervals of time. Hence, the distance time graph x being time axis and y being distance is a curved line. So if we try to calculate speed, then time and distance being x and y axis and we take at different intervals of time. It means when the object travels from O, in 2 seconds it travelled a distance of 1 meter, in 4 seconds it travelled a distance of 4 meter, in 6 seconds it travelled a distance of 9 meter. And if you notice, on the time axis, the time intervals are same, whereas on the y axis, the distance travelled at different time intervals is different. So from this, you can make out the distance time graph for non-uniform motion is a curved line and when we draw the line, it almost forms a parabola.